In the previous two videos, we made housings based on side profiles. We made this little guy with um, high side profiles, the side sections, and we also made a rack unit with low profile side sections. Another way of making uh, housings with Schaeffer uh, RG uh, services is to using, use housing profiles. And housing profiles is used on this Skahoy product. If you uh, look at it uh, closed up, you can see that um, the sides of the product has an aluminum profile and is kept together by these two. And these are called housing profiles. This is housing profile type number one. And uh, in a moment, we'll build a box using both type number one and type two. So these are the sides. Here are the uh, ends of front and back. And uh, as you can see, traditionally or typically, we will, of course, uh, build in some sort of electronics in our devices, uh, like uh, rows of buttons. And uh, for that, we make cutouts. But this video is about the basic box and getting that to the exact dimensions that you, you want to have. So um, let's just put this aside and take a look at the Schaeffer housing manual. So the housing manual you see on the screen behind me here is, um, uh, has uh, um, descriptions on how to build the side section boxes, but we would move down to the housing section so you can see how housing sections um, are used to put together enclosures. And uh, this is housing section number one, where you can see how it looks in, in profile. This is the small piece of aluminum holding to, uh, together the sides. And if you go further down, you can see this is housing profile um, number two, uh, which has other features. We'll be looking at both. But the point in these videos is really that we have a, a script, a JavaScript that uh, we created here at Skahoy. And uh, with that script, you have a GUI in front panel designer, the application from Sheffer where you can create these panels. And that GUI will help you to get started creating these boxes without reading the housing manual. It's doing the same thing as the housing manual, but it's just doing it with the script. And that's the really cool thing about it. So why are we making these videos? Well, uh, because we use the script ourselves. We use uh, these scripts to create panels at Sheffer and it highly um, raises the chance that we do not make mistakes because there are no human errors involved, only programmer errors, and that would be me, although you, you get to use it without any uh, um, warranty or guarantee that it will work. But so far it works pretty well, and you can see these different boxes that we have been ordering for these, this series of videos, they all come together quite nicely. Um, so it is actually a really good help um, to create housings based on Schiffer's profiles. All right, let's get started. Um, yeah, we had this uh, red box, um, which was based on side profiles. And I have ordered a box at the exact same dimensions, but using housing profiles. And now we'll be putting that together. So this is the content that came with the delivery uh, from Schaeffer. We have uh, front and back. We have a uh, bottom piece and a top piece. And then we have housing profile number two, housing profile number one, and sides here. Also, there was included a screw kit and another screw kit. And when I show you how to create this inside front panel designer, you'll also see how you can get these kits ordered, the correct order number, so you don't mess that up either. But let's just put this together fast forward. That's it. We now have two exactly same dimension boxes, but they are made in two different ways. One with side profiles, one with housing profiles. And if we take a closer look, you can see the one with side profiles look like this from the side and the housing profiles like that. But otherwise, they are pretty much similar. Slightly bigger screw holes here or uh, counter uh, sinking. And um, over here, it's um, 
it's uh, smaller screws. On the bottom, it's also slightly different. So there's a little bit uh, in how they look, but they have uh, the same dimensions. And um, one of the differences, key differences, is that the side profiles obviously cannot be any bigger. It can be deeper, it can be wider, but it cannot be any higher. While this one can grow to any height that you want because you determine how high the side is. And um, while you saw me assemble this, you may also notice a few things. First of all, um, I'm using a uh, screw machine to quickly screw the screws in, but I'm always tightening with hand because I don't want to overstress the aluminum thread, uh, which is drilled into these profiles. Also, um, you saw that here on, this, on uh, the top, on this box, we have used housing profile number one on the bottom, housing profile number two on the top, and that means that um, you can actually unscrew the, uh, the lid of this box um, and take it up because uh, what you saw on the fast forward of assembly is that we make, uh, we take a small square nut like this one and slide into the profile and while it's then um, slide it to the right position, I can then screw the lid from top onto this profile. So of course if you want to do that or if you just want to assemble it more like you saw this one where all the profiles go down and then you, you finally screw the top onto the unit. It's up to you and uh, what your needs are. But this would be a very easy way to access the content, uh, contents of the box using housing profiles number two on the top. So let's see how that box got created. And um, again, inside front panel designer, you go to the scripting tab and you activate the Sheffer housing script, start. But now, unlike before, you select housing with enclosure profiles. And now you uh, need to determine how high do you want the box to be, what should the width be, and the depth of the box. In this case, the width of these boxes are 100, and the height of this one would be 56. Uh, it's not a rack unit, so I deselect that option. The thickness of the panel is uh, 2.5 millimeter. I made it black. I, oh sorry, red, and I ordered a natural kit. I, um, I may have, you know, if I check add housing brackets, it's fine because the box here is too small um, for those. But, uh, well, let's see just in a moment how, what happens. So actually something like that should create the panels that are the basis for, for, for this box. Okay, so let's see what comes up on the screen. First of all, if I go to front panel designer, you can see all my various panels. I have the front and the back panel. Those two are exactly the same because there are, in this case, no differences. The top and the bottom panels are different in this case. That was not what happened with the side profile box. We had a similar top and bottom, but because we selected, uh, or my script has by default, in this case, selected a housing profile number two for the top, we get a different panel for the top, which has um, a cavity on the bottom side to fit into uh, the profile and uh, two screw holes. If you look at the bottom panel, you'll see that it has a different cavity um, which fits on the bottom of the box instead. Then the left and the right sides are also exactly identical. And at this point, it could be up to you to put any kind of cavities and cutouts on the various sides of, these, uh, of, of this box um, to make it useful for your particular application. Um, then we also saw the ordering application open up because again, if you, if you select a, a kit to go along with your housing, you have the added benefit of the ordering application opening up where you can see it's, it's going to select um, housing profile number one and housing profile number two in, uh, in the correct length so they match the, the dimensions of the box you have selected plus it also adds the two um, screw kits that um, is necessary for this box to facilitate sc uh, screwing together the uh, housing profiles as well as the top panel. Okay, so what variations exists if you 
uh, look at this at the script here. Um, I would like to uh, to just take a look at that because there are a lot of options. It's not all gonna be uh, red boxes uh, like like these small. I just made these because they are comparable and. Um, um, good for this demonstration, but there's a lot of flexibility for creating these boxes with housing profiles. They are generally slightly more expensive because you need to create an, two extra panels for the sides instead of the side profiles. But just take a look at this. You could create it in a one unit rack, or oh, it could be a two unit rack because we can get any height, or three if we want. So um, that's just for starters one thing we could do. Um, of course, we can select any color we like. Let's take a blue one this time. Um, let's not have a kit. Let's add housing profiles or housing brackets. Sorry, housing brackets to strengthen, just like we did on on uh, on this panel. We had added housing brackets, and that's good for a rack unit to keep it together like that. So we just add those. Um, in this case, let's add guide engravings. If you remember guide engravings, they were great to see on the front panel how where not to position things and um, let's not do a test run because we want to see all these panels created. And there we go. All right, and now we have one, two, three, four, five, six panels. This is the front panel and as you remember, I um, created a rack unit. So what you can see and it's a, it's a, it's a three, uh, three unit height, oh, sorry. 3U rack unit, so you can see the rack ears are right here. And uh, now I added guide engravings, and uh, guide engravings will give you this really cool window into how the profiles come together. So here you can see housing profile number two, how that looks, and if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see housing profile number one here in the bottom, and how that keeps the panels together. The panels themselves having cavities here to, to fit them in. And um, if we look at the top, this is how the top look. Here again, you can see the, the guide engravings. They are giving you an idea about, okay, so this is the, the front of the uh, rack unit. This is the back of the rack unit. Here we have two housing, or oh, sorry, housing brackets. And out here in the sides, we have the housing profiles filling out this and this space. So uh, this is um, the back looks much like the front, the bottom much like the top. Um, but again, you have all these um, benefits from the, the, the guide engravings that gives you an idea about what, how does this panel fit into um, the, the box. And that was all because I checked the, the guide engravings checkbox. And uh, this is uh, the one side and, and the other side. These two are identical in this case. So um, that was an example of how to, to create a, a big rack unit. Um, again, I think like um, you saw uh, with this one, by default the housing brackets placed on the front place, uh, plate, uh, the front uh, panel and not the back panel, are made with uh, uh, studs. So you need to drill a hole in your housing bracket and uh, mount it with a nut instead of uh, screwing it from the front. And that's all to, m to make a much nicer um, front surface of your device. Uh, surface of your device. You, you may need to move the housing brackets, of course, if they collide with any of the things you need to place down the front. Yeah, um, was there any more to say about the script with housing um, profiles? Not in this video. I think I'll stop here, but there are a lot of extra options. And if you look at the advanced video that will um, come later about using the Schaeffer housing script, you can see a lot of features like adding multiple more housing brackets, determining if the housing, uh, housing brackets on the front should use bolts or not. Um, there are options like how, to, yeah, a lot of options. But it's just if, if you think this is cool and you want to go beyond the GUI of the script, you need to see that video because there are so many awesome options. And one of the things that will come up in the next video is how to create a console-like device. Um, just a second. A console is, in my eyes, defined like this kind of thing where you have it, if you place it on the surface, it's actually slanted a little bit. Um, but this is, if you look at it, it's actually, 
a box just like this one, the only thing is that if you look at it from the end, it doesn't have a strict rectangular form. It has a higher back side than the front side, which makes it an, in an angle, but it's still based on housing profiles all the way. In this case, housing profile number one, uh, all over the place. And that's what we are gonna create next, to show how we can go beyond the GUI of the housing uh, script.